Today we have an Electrolux. I mean, it's quite a boring Electrolux really. It's got a fairly mediocre head. It's got a telescopic wand that we have seen before on other Electrolux products. Very basic, boring handle. But I think this Electrolux Air Clean or Excelio, pardon me, Electrolux Excelio is probably one of the last old school recycled design you could date this thing back to the 1980s. Yes, Phoenix, you certainly could. But yeah, I think it's probably one of the last of its era before Electrolux began. The mad, ill fated, and hilarious results along the way descent into bagless vacuum cleaners and then complete floor care obscurity. So let's have a look at the Electrolux Excelio Power Max. Max Power. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? This is another one from the great pile of Mr. James and Electrolux of mid, early, mid 2000s, I think. And bless it, it was probably quite an upmarket machine, not the top of the range, but certainly would have cost a little bit. I'll have to see if I can find a catalogue scan of it and bug it up on this very video for us all to see. We should put the machine to one side and get the tools out of the way because, well, yeah, they are what they are. This is probably the best bit about it. Very lightweight, aluminium wand, telescopic, see this style before on various electrolux cylinders. We have ourselves a hose, which has a very simple and wearing quite badly Ben 10 with a little suction relief valve which is very sticky with some form of gunk and then a very plain black hose and then a broken hose end which is probably going to stay broken because obviously the chances of finding any parts for a machine as obscure as this is quite difficult so the cardboard will stay the black tape will stay although looking at the stickiness coming out from the hose might have to take the hose out of it and wash that and see what we can do. And then the floor tool, bless it, which is the same recycled design that Dyson used on the DCO2 and obviously many other cleaners besides. It's not a bad head really. This one has seen some use, nearly say considerable, but we've seen worse. Part of it is it's just so baggy. You can see daylight at the right angle through there. The base plate is incredibly rusty, although amazingly it has its litter pickers. Ooh. Much hair is trapped in the brushes. That would be quite nice to wire brush out. And yeah, it's just, it's just old blessed. I can imagine it's gonna leak a fair bit of air as well. And then, we have the machine, which is quite heavy. It reminds me of, and let's like Mondo, and that's basically because it is. This is along the same sort of lines as that Electrolux Power Stream Upright that I had. Power Stream, Power System, you know, the green ugly thing. Big old push lock, 425 watts, and that will probably be relating to air watts. At a time when nobody cared at all, they've still got 1600 because that is basically what sold a cleaner in those days, especially in the era of Dyson just chomping market share from everything in its path. And yeah, we have ourselves quite a good feature set, really. We have a power socket, adjustable controls. We have, ignore the, J, the DJM domestic sticker, but the clean stream vacuum cleaner filter Gore-Tex, I remember loads of manufacturers jumping on the Gore-Tex bandwagon, you know, to obviously try and stay relevant in the increasingly bagless era that we found ourselves in. We have automatic cord rewind, it's obviously had a new plug at some point because this would have had a moulded one, but it's black, that's a very nice 
action with an automatic brake. And then to wind the cable back in, you flick that switch and it slowly does, uh, yeah, it, it might need attention. And that then puts it into the insane annoying mode that the Electrolux 4x4 had. If only you could flick the switch on that and have the cable stay out. But yeah, didn't really like that system at all. Not a pedal though, although obviously it looks like it. Then we have this humongous, absolutely enormous flap for just a bog standard post motor filter, which looking at that, this is like taking off a car air filter. You can see how little it's been serviced. It's original and pretty and utterly disgusting. So that might have to be replaced. And yeah, all this back piece, <laughs> this humongous thing there for that. And obviously the air comes out and probably blows in your face as soon as you turn around to look at the cleaner. We have ourselves a side parking bracket, but this floor head doesn't have a tool, a slot. And I'd imagine it would have been the same clip on system like down here that I've seen on dolphins and whatnot that would have put that in there. So we do not have that. We do, however, have a missing part. And it's missing because it's broken. We'll have a look at that in a minute. But if we lift up the tool door, no fancy spring for us here. There is a wheel, but it's not a date wheel. We find our tools, and they are the same Euro-spec, not particularly nice tools, well, ooh, actually, that were on the 4x4. So we have this really awkward crevice tool, a pretty meh upholstery brush, although we do have ourselves a dusting brush, and I went to test it, that's ah, really soft, I've seen these be you know, stiff as yard brushes before, that's actually quite nice, indeed, and yeah, it has all of those, and they sit there, what it sadly doesn't have is the latch for the back door, and that's because one whole side of the that the holder, in fact, both might be actually. No, one is intact. Yeah, one has snapped off, and the spring and the handle have come with it. Don't quite know where we're going to find another one of those. They think Mr. James is too fast because, luckily, unlike the fit where we had to bodge it with magnets, it roughly stays in place anyway. So, I don't think we need to worry. We can, however, open it up and see what the bag compartment holds. We have our orange bag holder. We have a, I think this is a just a pattern bag, although obviously one of the HEPA flow variety, brand new, isn't Mr. James kind to us? We don't need a whole pack of bags for it. Ah, this does keep happening. I had to find this before the video <laughs> because it had fallen off and rolled somewhere. Want to take the mahusive, oh, <laughs> doubled, although that might actually be what, oh no, I can't use that for in there. Okay, that is the collector's choice bodge for any filter in 2021, apart from this one, which is bigger than that. I think that'll wash up okay. It will still be a little bit stay, but it's not terrible. But yeah, huge, massive filter that's not actually that fabulous. <laughs> I've just had a tiny little suction port blimey what was the point electrolux hey ho who knows we'll never know now because you don't basically exist anymore eh, put that in there and then i think we're basically oh ratings plate i know some of you like to see that here we go look z5228 i have no idea how to date this era of serial number but there it is I think it's time that we find some power and plug this thing in. Put the power on low, and I think I've heard it run, not for a while. Hey. Runs really well. That's, that's that being so clogged up it pops off. You know what, we'll leave that out. That's, that's so clogged up, it's just blowing the back of it off. That's probably what killed a lot of these off. The very expensive post motor filter just destroyed itself. That's a lot of carbon dust. I think this is going to be quite filthy inside. You've got to really push down on that as well. 
good things about this machine is that it will have a lot of airflow. It's got a tried and tested design. I mean, crikey, Dolphin, you would probably put onto this. Probably even the light, you know, the 350 era is probably this one's direct ancestor. Motor, tools on the top, bag underneath. But yeah, certainly this machine has been going since the 1980s. As the Dolphin, it's just had a slight V shell. Probably the same cord we want. Let's see how terrible this forehead is. Oh, it's when they do that, makes it not terribly nice. But it doesn't leak air. Let's put this on the max. Oh, okay, that's all right. Wow, it's leaving track marks. Despite looking absolutely minging and not smelling too hot either, this works really, really well. These things always work good cleaners, they're just a bit boring and obviously when sat next to a Dyson DC-05, nobody ever bought them, which is why they are quite rare to see. So what's the plan for our Electrolux Excelio Power Max Z5228 Super Silence? <sighs> well, it's basically just going to come apart, get a flipping good wash, I'm probably going to have to give it a polish, although it's a shame about those bits annoying me, but it is absolutely smashed up, bless it, but crikey, what a rare piece of, you know, probably 20 year old now, vacuum cleaner, with the tools that just didn't last the test of time, probably what killed both of these off, they were just gone to the tip with a hose after being used in the garage for the last decade of their life, probably where Mr James found this from, but we shall get the old girl running a fair bit better and hopefully when I show it to you next this reflection here will be a lot better indeed. So, you gonna come down? Stick up? So thank you very much for watching. Have you have you ever had an Electrolux Excelio before? Comment down below if you have and what your thoughts of it were. I've not actually used one yet, although it's fairly similar to straight suction cylinders at the time. So for now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I and this will see you soon. Bye bye.